Hello everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. In this quick video, I'll show you how to use custom script templates in Unity. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for future updates. Now let's jump right into today's topic. All right, so this is how it looks when you create a new C-sharp script. We have the name of the class, we have a few namespace, we have the start method, and we have the update method. Now let's say we want to add a few copyright lines on the top of our script or we always want to add a new namespace or you know a default namespace uh, into our uh, code um, and we will always want to keep our classes inside that namespace and you might ask why do we need namespace and i have a video on that i'll put a link in the description you can look into that about why we need namespace in unity so we could do all this manually but this is going to be more easier if we had a template and it does it for us every time we create a new c -sharp script. Now there are two ways we can achieve this. Let's start with the easy one. So what we're going to do is in the asset folder, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to name this script templates. Now inside this folder, we're going to create a new c -sharp script and I'm going to name it new behavior. Now we need to change this name to script name and also we are going to add a namespace in the top and I'm going to name this my channel name. We are going to put everything in here inside the namespace um, and then finally we are going to add a few common here that is the namespace end and that is the namespace start. So let's save this and let's get back to Unity. There should be error, don't worry about that. Let's go to the Explorer. And inside the Explorer, we're going to change this name to newbehavior.cs.text. So this is just going to be a text file. Save this and I am going to uh, basically restart Unity. Now, if we want to create a new behavior, we can, you know, we, get, we have a new tab called new behavior. You can use that. I'm going to name it uh, test. Now, if I open this, you can see we have automatically the namespace added in our script. Now, again, we can go to that script template and we can add a few comments in the top that's going to define the copyright of our script, for example, right? So, again, we restart Unity. And if we create the new behavior, we can now see that this new behavior has that comments and also the namespace. So this way we can basically make a custom template inside a project. But now if I create a new project, none of them should work because that new project doesn't have this new behavior file. So what should we do to make it, you know, uh, make it happen for any project that we create? So let's look into that solution now. So in the location where we installed our Unity, we have a folder for the uh, templates, right? So we need to basically edit it just like the same way we did here. So I'm going to go to the script templates and we have the C-sharp script, new behavior script, right? So uh, if I open this, I'm going to open this up with my uh, VS code and it looks something like this. And again, in here, if we add a new namespace and we're going to put again all the script inside that namespace, we're also going to add the comments on the top. And then when I try to save it, ask for the admin permission. So we are going to retry as admin and it's going to pop up a confirmation and then we need to pre press yes. So if I now go back to Unity, let's try to create a new c -sharp script. So in our new c -sharp script, we can see this comment and the namespace is automatically added. If, that, uh, if this doesn't work to you, just restart Unity and it should work. Before we wrap up, let's talk about some customization we can make into our toolbox. So we can configure the default name of the script. Uh, we can also uh, change the location where we want to see the option and also the name of that option in the editor toolbox. And we can simply do that by renaming that uh, script template that we created. The first portion here is going to uh, give us that location where we want to see the option. Then we have to put a dash to separate the next, uh, you know, the control. And then you can say C sharp code, that is the name, uh, which is going to be appeared in here as a uh, new, you know, option. And then finally, we can say new behavior or whatever name you like. 
that is going to be the default uh, name of the script when you create that script thanks everyone for watching please like and share the video to support our channel and also don't forget to subscribe to get more unique tips and tricks and i'll see you in the next time